Hey, how are you guys doing out there today? My name is Chateau and it's great to be with you. Uh, I just purchased a kegerator, uh, you know, about four months ago and I had a, a couple things that I uh, experienced along the way that I'd like to share with you that might be helpful. So uh, the first tip is you want to make sure that if it's an outdoor kegerator that it will at least uh, cool the keg down to an internal temperature of like 30 to 35 degrees, even if it's on a hot sunny day where, you know, it's 105 or 110 degrees outside. And you want to look for that on the manufacturer's specifications because um, again that's that's something that you just you know that's really hard to fix and if you're gonna you know you're gonna go the distance and pay the money for a new kegerator you want to make sure that it, it's gonna bring that uh, you know it's gonna bring that cake down to you know a really cold temperature even on a really hot sunny day you know so you can have a party out on the patio or you know by the pool and not have to worry about it uh, the second tip that's really important is you want to make sure the kegerator door has a magnetic seal on it and make sure it states that um, also in the manufacturer specifications um, because um, obviously, you know, you don't want to have any air leaks or, uh, you know, anything like that happening, uh, especially when you're trying to keep your, your beer cold, you know, for sure. So anyway, um, uh, thanks for your time. I appreciate it. Uh, check out the link below this video. Uh, we have some more um, great information about kegerators and some kegerator equipment and uh, places that you can find kegerators online and that sort of thing. So, all right. Thank you so much. Take care and we'll talk to you later.